podcast. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. We normally don't let the song play this song, but this is our song. This okay, is it's our song. Our song. Fire in love. Fire in love. Okay. Fire in love. In the flames. Fire in love. Hey. If you saw the title of this video, then you already know we're engaged. <laughs> wow. Yep. It has been a journey. It's definitely been a crazy journey. A crazy journey. So before we talk about everything, I want to let you guys know that we are going to talk about how we're feeling. We're going to talk about how we got here. We're going to talk about next steps and give you guys some advice. But we always play a game of flames, flicker, smoke. Mm -hmm. And today, babe, fiance, okay. <laughs> I want to play flames, flicker, smoke with Steph Curry and Aisha Curry. Uh, what you think? It's a flame. I don't even Automatically? Know. Yeah. Is it just because he plays really good basketball? I'm a fan of of him. Like, I'm a huge fan of Steph Curry. He's a great basketball player. Um, he believes in Christ Jesus. Um, he's married. Um, he has kids. And he's a perfect role model. You know, someone you can look up to um, growing up. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point of my life where I'm looking for someone I can look up to like people that that I can relate to, and I think Steph Curry relates to me in the in the terms of where I want to head in the for you know in the next five years. You know, I want I want to I want to be exactly in that same position he's on. You know, married, have kids, and happy and and being successful at what he do. Okay. So it's definitely a Is flame. It it's definitely a flame for me. Oh snaps! Yeah. It's a flame for me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That exactly. barely happens where we can agree. So I definitely want to say they're flames too. I think for them to be so young and to be so passionate and on fire for Christ and so successful, those are two combinations that are really rare, really rare but are really needed in um, the industry. I just admire them because they're so carefree. They're so fun. They do whatever they want to do. But at the same time, um, they... Are very strategic about what they do i watched them the other day on live and was like man i really love them because they started this home and hallelujah page which basically they just have different um people in the christian community come on there speak do praise and worship and i'm yeah. like wow it's not for profit at all it's just for them to have an outlet for people to find their faith and to be encouraged and we just need more of that so finally we got two flames on the fire love podcast yeah, it was easy. That, that was, was an easy hard. one? Yeah, it was Well, it was I wasn't easy. sure because not everyone's a super fan of them. They think they're corny. But you know, I love corny. Um, they think they corny probably because they're not doing the the, the norm thing, you know, like what everybody else is doing. Because they're doing their, they doing their own thing. That's yeah. why I like them. Yeah. Okay, so we're engaged. <laughs> we're finally engaged, y'all. You said finally. So you yeah. felt that it was time. Of course. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. Did you know it was going to happen? Or did you believe it was going to happen? <laughs> you know, everybody asked me when we got engaged, like, did I expect it? We've had conversations. I knew it was the goal. I just didn't know when it was coming. Mm -hmm. um, I felt in my spirit that it was time. So I think that that was coming across as me kind of like bitching and like, always bringing it bringing it up but for me and you it you know it came upon us differently for me it was like oh it's time like our conversation our conversations our mentality like i'm asking the questions and then for you you're like okay it's time and you're preparing so yeah. when you put those two in the room together i'm like win 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 and he's like getting it all prepared so yeah. I didn't expect it the day you did it, and I don't want to talk about how you did it because I want to make sure that everyone watches our engagement video that we make sure that we will upload. But when it happened, I was completely shocked. I was like, like I dreamed the night before, like, oh, it would be so dope if Nate would propose on my 30th birthday. Yeah. But y'all gotta know, 
being in a relationship for five years, I've dreamed so many different like occasions that he could propose at. So I'm like, oh, it'd be dope if he proposed when we went out on this little date night tonight because I look cute. So it was like a normal thing that I do, like fantasize about it. But then I put it in the back of my mind. And when it happened, I still was just like, is this happening? Is this truly, honestly happening? Something that I've dreamed about my whole life, something that when I met you, I saw in your eyes and I was just taking up, taking the moment to just like soak it in and was like, wow, wow. Yeah. Do you feel any different since you proposed? Um, I definitely do feel different. Um, I feel like uh, I got a lot of responsibilities now, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Um, I really feel like um, I'm becoming the person God wanted me to become. I feel like I'm confident. My confidence level is at a high 10 now. Um, I do believe that um, I will be able to accomplish these goals that I have set up in the next five years. And I think everything aligned in the right right, right timing, I, I would say. Everything has had happened in the right time. So I do feel like um, a, little, a little anxious to reach this new level because you know, it, it, it's a challenge for me because I like to challenge myself when I when I feel like I reached a certain level of success, where I feel like okay, now this level, the next level is is now you got to man up, now you gotta you know you gotta get engaged and you gotta you you gotta be married now. So this is a new level that I have never experienced yet, but I'm excited because I do have people, I do have mentors, I do have people I can look up to, um, I can talk to, and, and if I need some advice. Um, I do have people that have been keeping me in line in, in this engagement proposal. You know, I have a few friends I want to shout out to, but we'll shout, I will shout out um, later. Um, so um, I'm I'm ready. You know, I think uh, mentally I was mentally, um, I was nervous at, at one point, but now I'm just like... What were you nervous about? Uh, the preparation. Uh, just Just doing it. Oh, okay. You know, just doing it in a certain... I have... Because for me, I had it... I, in my mind, I had a vision of exactly how I wanted to do it. Um, I even I even wrote, wrote, wrote... I had notes written down like I'm Aww. putting together a, a project. I feel like I was working on a Kanye West project. Wow. Honestly. Like, you can even ask your friends. I was like back and forth on phone calls, <laughs> running back and forth. I was looking for cheesecakes for Puff. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm going to the ring shop over here, ring shop over there. This so ain't cute. it. This ain't it. I this so is cute. it. I even have photos that I had to hide that I couldn't because I know that when it comes to taking pictures, I didn't want to snitch on myself right. and be a dummy. So I had to hide the pictures and then just had to make a decision. It was it was very exciting and um I'm looking forward for this new journey, to be honest. Well, I am definitely feeling different. I think the moment that we got engaged I, and I didn't think I'd feel different. I'd be like, he'd finally ask me. But as soon as you put the ring on, I immediately felt so much security in our relationship. Um, I felt so much more respected. I felt like our relationship was serious and that people would see us and um, understand that. I felt fancy as fuck, babe. Like, I, I that's why I wanted to dress up today. I was like... I can't like wear this ring with just like oh anything on. Like I tell him already, I was like, I'm I'm a fiance. Like I need to make sure my car needs to be clean, like the house, everything. I just feel like there are so many women that I have admired my entire life and all of them are wives and I've always wanted to be a wife and I've always thought that that responsibility and that title was just um, so admirable. So now that that's me, you know, I feel like there are people who might be looking up to me or I want to be a person that people look up to. So, yeah. you know, I just want to be solid. And then I also feel like dreams come true. Dreams definitely come true, and be careful what like, you wish for. I feel <laughs> like dreams come true. I, it's it's insane that um, we are here because they and I met in LA. So for us, five years later to be engaged and about to get married, it's wild. So people want to know how did we get here? How like what was our step to step process? Um, and how, how do we finally get to this point of we want to spend the rest of our lives with each other? 
we want to grow together we want to raise a family we want to do business because we do think that marriage is a business how do we get to you know this point and i i was telling you i think one thing that we did really really well and from day one is we really focused on our relationship mm -hmm. we really focused on making it um solid and customize it for us we did a lot of remember in the beginning we used to do check-ins mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> we used to do check-ins for yeah. real like the first year or two when we were still learning each other like is there something that i can do better is there something that's not working and we would be totally real keep it all the way 100 i, I will never forget you would be like what it's time for a two-week check-in it's time for a yeah. two-week check-in mm -hmm. um what else do you think we did to get here we just kept it honest um straight straight forward with with everything um no hard feelings you know I'm, I'm i'm being your friend right now you know i do love you but at this moment i'm i'm, I'm trying to be your friend i want to make sure you know that i'm gonna give you nothing but the truth even if it's it hurts it has to be like i have to allow myself to let it out to say um, it um because what happens is we we get caught up in like fil fil filter filtering everything and trying right. to make sure you know i don't want to you know, I don't want to make, I don't want to sound like a, an, an asshole, you know what I'm saying? So how did we get here? Man, um, first of all, you have to believe that this is what you want. You know, you have to believe that a relationship is something that you want. A relationship is something that you want to look forward to and then um, grow, growth, a lot of growth in maturity. Yeah, I would say we definitely you know, we, we planned to get married. Like we didn't know, I didn't know when, I didn't know what year, but it was a conversation that we always had. We always were like, well, when we get married, you know, we put it out there, we put it into the universe. That was another thing I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. How did we get here? We manifested that thing. Like we, yeah. he would be like, you know, you're going to be my wife, right? And I'd be like, how? Like, <laughs> I don't even think we're close or yeah. like, we just would say, when we get married, you know, then we'll do this. And I would tell my friends, like, when, you know, this going to be my husband, girl, this is my husband. And I know another thing that I said in the very first season of the podcast is I said, oh, when we moved into this house, I told him only two things are going to happen. Either we're going to break up or we're going to get married. And that can seem very drastic. But when you know you want something and you're very clear about it from day one, somebody can either rise to the occasion or they can waste your time. And if you let it be known straight out the gate what it is that you're looking for and your expectations, all somebody can do is respect that and try to meet that. So for all my ladies out there, don't be afraid to speak up that marriage is the goal. And don't be afraid to say, this is an expectation. I don't think you need to force anyone to get married. That's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be clear that that's what you're aiming for. I think a lot of times we shy away from being honest because we think it's going to turn someone off and that doesn't make sense like if that's going to turn them off then that's not who you're supposed to be with and then we end up wasting all these years and all this time with somebody because we're so afraid to just speak up about it in the very beginning from day one i told nate like yo i don't know what everybody else is doing but i'm trying to get married i'm trying to get a house i'm trying to have kids and i want it to go in this order um no no problem with any other order and there's not really a right order but for me in my life this mm -hmm. is the order that i'm trying to go about and um we we stay solid on that yeah we definitely um stay solid um for me i i, I just made a decision i was messing around with a lot of you know a lot of girls in my early stage of in my career um i wasn't focused at all and i didn't have the right people around me i didn't have the right friends in my corner telling me now nah, you need to do this you need to do that and and, and another thing is I, I honestly didn't have a big brother i'm the first so i didn't have no no uh, i didn't have a mentor to guide me to you know where i'm at to this right now at this stage so uh i got to a point in my life where i was like yo nah i'm i'm gonna completely change everything, everything. and i had to challenge myself because it was not it's easy, not easy. It was definitely not easy because I, in between, I was like, "Damn, I still want to have fun. Damn, I still wanna, I still want to, you know, flirt with other girls and 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 have a lot of girls' numbers in my on my hitting my like my that phone. That, it was a good feeling, but it got to a point where like, okay, yeah, it's kind of boring now. So right. it's like, well, how can you level up? And I think 
when you want to level up, you got to discipline, you know, you got to challenge, your, challenge yourself to, to reach to that certain stage in life. And I, I really did. I like, I totally went from here to straight line and like focus no and really not, wasn't trying to, you know, entertain people that in my past and even trying to lose my focus. So I finally admit that, you know, it's time, things has to be changed. Like I had to change a lot of things um, for for me to be able to move forward to where I'm at to this day. So exactly. yeah, man, so it's, it's, it's like just a want. A want, it's definitely a it's want. It's definitely a, a want. A strong want and a yeah. desire and no wavering on your want and no altering your want for someone else. Stay true to what it is that you're dreaming about because that's your dream and that's for you and it's out there. I dreamed of this and thought it would never happen, but I didn't waver my dream based on circumstances or the city that I was in. I said, no, this is what I'm aiming for. So I guess like my last question would be like, how did you know that you wanted to marry me? Because so many people are out there that are dating and they are really into their person, but they're not sure if they want to marry this person. Or there are so many people who are afraid. Like, how, how, do, how do you know? How did, I, how did I know? I knew because when my when my parents and my sibling, sister and brother were like not not rejecting you as a, <laughs> for who you are. And I was like, OK, that's the first sign. And I was like, okay, cool. And then my friends that I still talk to this day was like, yo, she seems like a cool person. You know, mm -hmm. family members was like in between. They they had nothing crazy to say, nothing negative to say. But they was like, they was telling me, yo, what are you going to do? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I think so they friends seen. friends and family, yeah, they could see the potential. They, they probably seen, yo, you got, a, you got something going on with yourself. Like you believe in God and. You, you look like you got a lot of things going for yourself. But then again, it was like, what are you going to do? Like, right. it was to a point where my sister was like, yo, she likes you. And then my sister don't really tells, tell me <laughs> nothing. But she, she you, yeah, think. she was like, she was like, no, she like you. And then you don't want to, you don't want to sit down for so long. You got to, you got to push forward. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I've been through a lot with you. You know, I think you you met me at a point in my life where I was like completely at shutdown. Like I couldn't even, <laughs> I couldn't even move the certain way I used to move anymore. And then I went through a depression stage in my life, and I had to lift myself up, and I had the right people in my corner. And then you were still here to uplift me to make sure that, you know, I, I move forward and in, into my career. And 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 you actually helped me believe in myself again. And so I, I look at that as a, a big, big thing for me. That's big. I believe in loyalty and I, I see how loyal you are. And I had to keep keep that going and, and believe that I can be loyal to you. So, yeah, man, signs and just and just paying attention to the universe and then paying attention to what God wanted me to do and like. People having the right people around you, people that are married, people that are right. in serious relationships and and talking to me, giving me free game. And I'm like, yo, whoa, I didn't even <laughs> know about this, but OK, y'all y'all put me on this, put me on that. And I, I finally realized like, yo, there's a lot of dudes out there that don't know the, the knowledge of commitment and the knowledge of marriage and, and engagement and taking it to that level because at the at the end of the day when you are king you still need your queen and i think a lot of dudes not there yet certain dudes are there but not a lot of people really understand the blessings behind commitment you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and just moving forward to to that stage that big stage in life and i i was i was ready i i knew you were the one because you fought for me so at the end of the day i was like I will yeah. always fight for you, babe. Yeah. So you, so, you know, yeah. I was the one because family didn't reject. Yeah. I was there through hard times. Mm -hmm. And what's the last one you said? Oh, and because I fought for you. Yeah. Um, I would say that I knew that you were the one simply just because I love who I am when I'm with you. Um, I think that I'm at my absolute best because you allow me to be free to be myself. Mm -hmm. You don't try to make me change. Um, I could be free in my spirituality and grow and, and get deeper with God. I feel like in past relationships, I wasn't able to do that because it would create a really big imbalance. I'd be way too Christian-like and they weren't. And with you, you just dive in with me. wherever, However deep I'm going, you just come in for the ride. Um, 
and I just felt so mature with you. I wanted to be my best with you. I didn't want to play. And that's those are qualities that I, I never had before. I think in previous relationships, they were fun and they were, you know, they just weren't serious. But with yeah. you, I wanted to better myself mentally, financially, physically, every in every aspect. That's how your love made me feel. So if you're out there and you're trying to figure out if you should propose or if it's the one, um, another thing I would say is like, don't second guess it. Go with it. Like people say all the time, like, Stay, you know, stay true to the moment. And that's what Nate did. He stayed true to the moment because he had a whole party plan and couldn't do it. And he stayed true to the moment and still proposed because in this moment right now, that's where we are. That's where our love is going. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will psych themselves out when they start thinking about like down the line and this way. You got to think about right now. How do you feel? What is it like? What are you, what are you trying to do? Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do? Um, so what are our next steps? <laughs> Now that we are engaged, there are so many. Um, mm -hmm. And I will say it's funny because as much as I've dreamed about this, now that it's here, it's a little bit overwhelming because I'm like, okay, the proposal happened. That was great. It was so beautiful, babe. Yeah. But I'm about to be a wife. And I need to get ready to be a wife. And everyone's hitting me up like, what's the day? What's the wedding day? My friends are like, oh my God, this wedding about to be lit. It's yeah. about to be so much fun. And it is. And I'm so happy that they're excited because it will be fun and it will be lit. But I'm like, my focus is not the wedding. Mm -hmm. My focus is the marriage. I'm about to be married. That's forever. The wedding is one night. It's going to be a ball regardless because yeah, it's yeah. a celebration. Yeah, exactly. I need to get myself prepared to be a wife. I need to figure out, you know, my headspace. I need to figure out my prayer life because we're going to have to go to war with, you know, the yeah. enemy. We're going to have to pray. Yeah. I need to figure out my finances because after the wedding, we want to move into a house, you know. Mm -hmm. So I need to figure out, you know, what the timeline, when we want to have kids, um, what we want our marriage to look like because marriages look different for everybody else so when they say when people ask next steps those are the next steps for us like the wedding is coming it's gonna be there and it's gonna be extravagant y'all already know because it's yeah. dot and nate we love yeah. having a good time but nate got some really good advice from his mentor sham shout out to you um just to not focus too much on the wedding but to focus on the marriage and to mm -hmm. focus on after that day because so many people, you know, put all this money, time, and effort into this glamorous wedding, and then their marriage falls apart because they never were on the same page about what it was supposed to be like. Yeah. So we've already talked about like premarital therapy. We're serious. We don't want to get divorced. We don't want to fail. This is bigger than us. We feel like we have a huge responsibility. We're excited, but we're taking it serious because we want other people to know that it's possible. As long as you're taking the right steps, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I to, I, I, I'm with you. Um, Sham, Sham Joseph, um, a lot of people know, well, a lot of people should know who he is. He's a well-known producer. Um, is he go by Sac Passe? That's my brother. My, like, he's literally like my big brother. So he's been mentoring me for the past like four years now, I would say. And like he's like the person I run to if I need some information, some 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 resources about you know certain things in life or in business. So you know I look up to him because he's married, he has kids, and he's in the same. He's just, we're the same kind. You know he's Haitian, I'm Haitian. His dad from the same side, my dad's from the same side, and like we literally call each other cousins. Uh, so. He gave me some uh, information about think what you said earlier about don't don't focus on the celebration, focus on the marriage, which I truly believe that you know it's to it's crazy that he told me that because I was already thinking about my kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're <laughs> always already, thinking ahead. Yeah, I was already thinking about my kids. I, I already had the I already had the the ring, but when I had the ring, I was like, I'm already thinking about my kids. So my mind right now, I'm thinking about my kids, you know, so I'm thinking about That's what you're thinking about. Yeah, I'm thinking about my kids. I'm thinking about making sure they're they're, you know, when they get to a certain age, they should, they, they don't have to worry about um um struggling and and you know, making sure their credits at a certain stage and making sure that they have a certain amount Getting of money. Getting the savings ready yeah, for the kids. For, so for college and his and mind stuff like so that, basically you know, his so. mind is not even on the yeah, wedding. It's like not he's even, not even thinking about the yeah, wedding. You're leaving even, that to me. Yeah, I'm not even thinking <laughs> about the wedding because I already know it's gonna happen. 
So it's like, if I know it's going to happen, I'm going to move forward to the next step. Which and I is, feel like which we've is, thrown so many parties that a wedding is another party. It's a, yeah. it's a one, two, three, add yeah. some more pizzazz in it. And um, yeah, so I feel like the wedding's not the hard part. It's it's the marriage that's the hard part. So when we say next steps, those, those are the next steps that we are taking. Yeah. So I can't believe after five years together, I'm gonna be Mrs. St. Clair. My real name is Dorothea, by the way, and that sounds real fancy. Dorothea St. Clair. Really do. I can't wait. Can't wait too. Oh, you get it done with a glass of wine. So sophisticated. Fire and love, fire and love.